Who got sprayed by a skunk last night? I thought he was my friend, man. I just wanted to say hi. It was mean. Oh, what a jerk, right? You just wanted to have a friend, and he went and farted all over your face. Chevy, you're lucky it wasn't you. You have thicker hair. He's okay today, though. So, yeah, last night, uh, we were just getting ready for bed. We had everything all ready. We are just going to let the dogs out one more time, and then we were going to yeah, call it a night. And uh, Diesel took a little while coming back. Britt was calling him outside. He was busy doing his business, we thought. And when he came back, we thought that he had uh, at first gotten into something, eaten something he shouldn't have, because we're like, what's that smell? Like, we, it didn't click right away. What's that smell? So uh, he comes over to me, and I put my face by his face and took one good whiff. And I just about died. That was the worst, absolute worst smell I have ever had enter my nostrils in my entire life. And I can't imagine how bad it must have been for him with his nostrils that are like 10 times better than mine. It was absolutely terrible. The whole house just reeked. Had we known he got sprayed, we would have left him outside, right? And cleaned him out there. And... But, wow, that was bad. Uh, he, got, he got it on his face. Uh, Britt immediately went online to go and find out what we should do. And uh, she came up with that solution with dish soap and uh, hydrogen peroxide and a couple of other things. And he went straight into the bath and she bathed them for probably about 20 minutes or so. And she got the smell right out of him, right away. So just a little bit left on the tip of his nose and that should last about a week or two, according to uh, vets online. But yeah, he got, uh, he, he tried to make a friend and that the jerk wasn't interested in being friends. So we sprayed him. Right in the face. Uh, we have we were worried about his eyes because that can irritate the eyes quite a bit. So she she rinsed out Diesel's eyes very well, and he hasn't been showing any signs of irritation. Uh, we have to watch for symptoms like nausea. If he starts getting nauseous, I'm gonna take him into the vet. But he woke up this morning and he seems perfectly fine. So we got lucky. I don't think a vet visit is necessary right now, but I'm keeping a close eye on him all day. And if uh, you know symptoms arise. I will rush him to the vet immediately. But I think we got lucky. I think that uh, he was quite a ways away yet. He's probably chasing the skunk and like Diesel. Thought he was his friend. And uh, the skunk probably bolted as soon as he saw Diesel. And Diesel said, oh look, I love this game. Tag, I'm gonna get you. And the skunk probably stopped and <laughs> sprayed him. They can spray up to five meters or 15 feet. So uh, anyways, the majority of it was on the front of him. Today, everything seems to be all right, but yesterday was a little bit worried. I couldn't sleep most of the night. Uh, we washed him off so he didn't stink anymore. Just the tip of his nose stank a little bit, and uh, he still slept on top of a towel, on top of an old blanket, right beside me on the bed. I know a lot of you might think that's a bad idea, but in my mind, if Diesel had to suffer through that smell, just that little bit left on his nose, if he had to suffer through that all night, I could suffer through it too. So I wanted to be right beside him just in case if he started getting sick or started showing signs of anything wrong so that I could realize right away and rush him to the vet in the middle of the night. But we, we, had to, we got through the night. We got through the night, right Chevy? And he's been eating. He ate his full breakfast today already. He's been drinking. He's been playing with his brother. Diesel, come here. You feeling all right? Come here. Come on, buddy. You feeling all right? Oh, I know he was super mean. What a mean guy. I went looking for him yet. I wanted to get him. You spray my boy. I'm going to get you. I wasn't able to find him yesterday, but uh, I'm pretty sure I know where his little den is under our cabin. So eventually he's got to come out, Diesel. Eventually he's going to come out. And don't worry. I'll get him. Yeah, I'll get him. No, you're not going to get him. No, 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 no. You can't go. You tried to get him. You got sprayed, man. Well, what if you get sprayed? Well, that'll be I'll be the last person he ever sprays then, if that's what he does. Frank? How you doing today? Hello! I want to be on the YouTubes. Hello, my name is Frank. Frank Fetter. Hello. I'm Avina. Hi. You want some attention? You don't come to me very often for attention. 
Britt's not home right now. He's probably wondering where she is. She's at work, buddy. I gotta be working too. I'm, I stayed home today to get the lawn mowed, all right? And to hunt some skunk. It's time to get this show on the road. We need to get some lawn mowed. Badly, really badly. And look at this. We have a forest growing around our house. So much so that the skunks feel brave enough to come close to the house. That's no good. I don't think the grass has anything to do with that, but we'll blame it for that. We're gonna mow the entire yard today. But first things first, we need some breakfast. I need some milk. So I need to go into town. All right, Chevy. This Chevy, not the dog Chevy. The original Chevy. Call him Mr. Bowtie. Let's get into town. I need milk, badly. You guys wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? Oh my, Frankie looks like he wants to. Chevy, Diesel, no chasing skunks. You leave them to me. I'll take care of them, okay? I'll take care of him, buddy. No revenge from you. I got you covered. Okay, everybody wait. Chevy, wait. Frankie. Diesel. Diesel, go. Chevy, wait. And go. <laughs> he always does that smile thing. <laughs> Look at this. I got the whole front yard here mowed down finally. Got the garden over there. Well, it's supposed to be a garden. It's a lawn right now, but next year, hopefully we can till it up so it can actually be a garden. I'm gonna start working on this side of the property now in the backyard. I've just got the mower over here by the garage, filling it up with fuel. Figured these guys needed a bit of a break outside. I'm not too worried about the skunk showing up during the day. Uh, I believe they're nocturnal, right? So they come out at night, mostly. I'll show you where I think he lives. You let me know what you think. Oh, it still, it still stinks like skunk right here. I believe this is the area right in here where Diesel got sprayed yesterday. Somewhere right in here and I think he's living underneath this cabin. It still smells fresh, yanks. Maybe he'll come out and say hello for the vlog. What's up, stinker? You awake? Wakey, wakey. Diesel, no, Chevy, get away from here. Chevy, go get away from here. I don't need you sprayed too. Come on, get. No, 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 not that way. That way. Go on. Go, go, go. Chevy, don't mess with me. Get away from the cabin. Right in there. I believe that's where he's living. He's also got a rear entrance. On the back here. Diesel, get away from, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? You wanna get sprayed again? You dogs. This is back entrance. Seriously, man, I know he's under there. I'll take care of him. I'll take care of him. He's sleeping right now anyways. He hears us. Get out of there, guys. Chevy, come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. He's not going to come out now when he hears me talking out here. You guys are nuts, you know that? You guys are nuts. If uh, if you got sprayed, your, your coat is so thick. You know how hard that would be to get that out of there, man? Much harder than diesel. I don't want that, okay? Our house still smells like skunk. Plus, I need to get to mowing, and I don't want to spend my whole afternoon giving you a bath, all right? Got stuff to do, man. Well, I couldn't get the skunk to come out right now, if he is even under there right now. He might have, you know, ditched that place because we figured it out yesterday that he was there. And Diesel might have scared him off. Guess we'll just keep mowing. The reason I wanted to sort of scare him out of there now is because i got to go and mow around there now. So this should be fun. Guess I could always chase him with the mower. How fast are skunks? Probably faster than my mower. <sighs> well, let's get her done. This 
level, a little bit more level. It would make it so much easier. Got some wood cutting done here. I'm trying to clear our trails again, all these trees that fell over in our back back trails here. I ran out of gas, but I got that one off the trail at least, you see? And uh, it had fallen over one of these young teenage saplings. I don't know if you'd call it a teenager or not, but what's that noise? You hear that? I thought I heard a noise, like a grunting noise, <coughs> coming from over here. Maybe it's a bear. He was over here. I heard something. Oh, it scared me. Jeez, just a little bird. That wasn't what was making that noise. Hello? Okay, well, like I was showing you, got this tree out of the way at least. And it was, uh, it fell down over this little teenage, I don't know, you wouldn't call this a sapling still, it's still pretty big, it's like a teenage pine or something. It had fallen and squished it flat against the ground. So I propped it back up there so it can continue growing. I care about all the trees on our property. If you look through here, there's so many dead trees. Like, can you see them all? We call this Deadwood Forest. Because <laughs> uh, previous owners before us never ever cleaned up the trees after they died and fell over. So there's just tons and tons of deadfall everywhere. Like, look at that. That one right there, the whole thing is dead and needs to come down. Whole bunch in here. Oh, it looks so ugly, right? so ugly with that in there and you walk this way you can see more falling down over there I hate that look I want it to be nice and clean no deadfall oh, lots of work lots and lots of work but it keeps me busy and I really enjoy it this is where that tree had fallen over the path got that all cleared up this one was about to fall and it was dead, so I cut that down. Cut it all up. Stacked it over here. And Britt should be home any second now, if she's not home already. So I'm gonna go to the house and see if she's there already. It's time to go inside and shower, get ready for the evening anyway. She was at work all day, so. I got a lot of work done. I feel good about today. Huh. Oh. she's not home yet. Oh, okay. All right then, well, I'll just put my chainsaw away here and I guess I'll go inside and get ready for her. Go and shower, clean myself all up. So I probably smell like I've been working all day. Come on, there you go. Put you up there. Oh, jeez. Oh. All right, you did good today, good sir. You did very good, mold the entire yard. Good job. Feeling better, Diesel? Feeling better? <laughs> ah, go get him, Chevy, go get him. I think he's feeling better. 
And every good day comes to a good end. Usually. Britt got home and we're just about to sit down and watch what, The Accountant? Yep. Ouch, I just walked right into the corner of that couch. Ouch, it sacked me. Oh. Yeah, it's we right at the those. perfect height. Stop it. Sacked myself, I'm gonna go now. That was embarrassing.